I just left my life. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Trina Fit and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a standing ab workout by Chloe Ting. I have not done a head workout in a while, just light exercises. I've decided to do this workout because I love to have abs one day. I'm only doing this for one week. I know I'm not going to get abs after this challenge, but it's just small steps to get closer to having my abs. I'm always happy to do a Chloe Ting workout because I came a very long way from not being able to do her workouts at all. But that was in the beginning of my weight loss journey. I shouldn't have started off with doing a Chloe Ting workout because her workouts is known for being like medium to hard kind of exercises. And I was in the beginning. It was very, very hard for me. Um, I didn't know where to start. And all I knew is that I just wanted the fat to be off. I didn't know not to do just extreme workouts. I didn't know to start small. It would really make me feel like crap when I was not able to do like simple movements that she would do. I just felt like, why can't I do this? I would beat myself up about it. Then when I did do her workouts, I would look at the time to see if it's over. I would see like, oh my God, is it almost over yet? But it just hurt it so bad. And it was so uncomfortable doing her workouts because I was so out of shape. So, so out of shape. And I would just look at the time and say, oh my God, is it over? Oh my God, I can't keep doing this. This is hurting too much. But then versus now, even though it was only 10 or 15 minutes, which is not long at all, but it felt like forever. <laughs> it felt like forever because I was just so out of shape. But now I don't look at the time to see if it's almost done. I actually just, I'm just shocked when I see like, oh, it's over already rather than how I used to feel because now I got so used to it and I enjoy doing it. All of that weight is off, so it's not as stressful and hard on my joints. So now I just love to just jump around and <laughs> do all these workouts that Chloe does. I just be in my zone when I do her workouts, be trying to just go hard in my workout. Before I did this workout, I did do a stretch routine by Girl With Joe. It left my body feeling very good and prepared to do this workout. Make sure you guys go check that video out. I'll make sure I'll put it in the description box for you down below. And since I decided to start back doing HIIT workouts again, I started stretching because I don't want to pull anything or I don't want to injure myself. I've heard a lot of stories with that and I just don't want that to happen to me. And my body feels so much better after through my sore days around the third day that's when I moved a little bit slower because I was a little bit sore but I still managed to finish the whole workout I was very close I was very close to not doing anything but <laughs> I just wanted to do nothing but I have been working on my self-discipline it's gotten better but I know I can do better so during this workout challenge I didn't change my diet I've just been eating regular things, like far as my breakfast, I'll have maybe some oatmeal, some yogurt, um, add some chia seeds in there, some yogurt, oatmeal, something like that, something really light. I don't like to eat too heavy in the morning. I don't like to eat breakfast at all, but I try to just do something really light, nothing too heavy on my stomach in the morning because I already don't want to eat anything but I like to eat later in the afternoon. Definitely my salad, I eat the salad every day. I love eating salads, decorating them, putting anything that you want on there. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. And I like the Romanian lettuce, but I, lately I've been switching it up and putting, I've been putting spinach, kale, sprout. I just love that how you can just decorate it and put anything in a salad. My salads used to be, ooh, oh my goodness. My salads used to be so unhealthy that it should not have been called a salad. <laughs> 
because it did not have much greens in there at all. The salads I have now, much healthier. Oh, and tomatoes. And I recently started eating tomatoes. I did not used to like tomatoes. And they taste very different. People that are from America that visit other countries would say that the fruit and the vegetables taste different. And I always wondered about that. And it is so true. It is so true that it's diff it just tastes much fresher. And that's something that I did find out about going to Brazil and being here in Cancun, that the fruit and the vegetables are so much fresher and just so, they, they taste better, it's true. It actually tastes better. I don't eat the same thing every day. I try to switch it up. Street corn, oh my goodness. It is so good. At first I looked at it, it's like, okay, it's just corn in the cup. I went to the grocery store and there was a lot of people standing by the stand. There was a guy uh, selling the, the corn. When you see a lot of people at a certain, at a food stand, you know that food is good, you know it's good. But oh my goodness, I got my corn in the cup and it was so good. So what he put in there is corn, of course corn, and he put like shredded cheese and shredded cheese and butter. I never thought this would taste so good. Oh my goodness, it tastes amazing. I didn't want to tell y'all this, but I have been there four days in a row. <laughs> I have been at the the corn stand four days in a row. I'm I'm done. I'm not going back to the corn stand, but that corn is so good. You can put other sauces on there, but mainly it's hot. This is Mexico. Mexicans love hot, spicy food. I don't care for spicy food. Maybe a little bit of spice, but nothing too hot. But he always offered to put that on there, and I'm like, no, no, please, no, don't put that on there. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of how I feel, how like how my body has been since I've lost so much weight. Someone messaged me and asked me, how have I been enjoying my new body? <laughs> and I thought that I would just come on here and just, just talk about how I feel after losing so much weight. I feel really great about it. I sometimes look in the mirror and just look and just say, wow, because I didn't think I could actually do it. After failing those or giving up on them, it was it really felt like I could not do it. It felt like my, you know my body would never ever be small. There's no way my body could be small. This is how I used to think, and I really felt that I couldn't do it. Something in me just told me, just try it. As long as you're on this earth and you keep accepting that you can't lose weight, you're not going to lose weight because that's what you keep telling yourself. I decided to just change my mind and tell my. While I'm here on this earth, why not try something that I really want to do now? Something that I really desire is to have a healthy body. That's what I wanted.
finally finished with the Chloe Ting ab workout. I don't have abs. <laughs> I did not get abs in one week. It was just one week. I like to be realistic about things, but I feel the progress. Anytime I ever do a Chloe Ting workout, I always feel much stronger. Help with my coordination as well. My coordination got so much better. I really enjoy doing the workout in the morning, even though I am not a morning person. I try to be, I try my best to be a morning person. It felt really good because I didn't have to scramble later on in the day. After I get off work, so I just be wanting to do other things instead of just, you know, doing a workout right after. So it really helped that I did it early in the morning. That was really, really nice. It felt like I had my whole day to myself. And I see why people like to work out in the morning. You have the rest of the day to yourself. It just makes so much more sense. And I just love doing HIIT workouts. Those are my favorite workouts to do. I did calm down on doing HIIT workouts, like I haven't been doing um, a lot of workouts lately, but I am back on the HIIT workouts because I love, love, love doing HIIT workouts. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for I can keep making content like this. And let me know in the comments below what videos that you would like to see me do next. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.